The forecast this morning, <laughs> not cold enough for the penguins here at home. However, that's okay. Of course, we're just 11 days away from spring now. Local time about to turn 548, and you're waking up to those temperatures in the 20s and 30s. So grab the winter coat this morning, but you will not need it even by lunchtime today. That's how quickly we warm things up. We're across the weather cam network facing that north and east sky. A pretty picture there of the Topeka skyline, including the state capitol. So one of the things we're watching for today, maybe some passing clouds. But otherwise, lots of sun. Here's that day planner. Notice temperatures this morning. Again, still kind of chilly by 8 o'clock, 38 degrees. At least will be above freezing. Then by lunchtime, 55. Highs this afternoon, 64, 65 degrees for the most part. However, just like yesterday, the warmest weather will be out west. That's in the Flint Hills and spots west of I-335. So we're watching maybe Council Grove, White City, Abilene to be some of the warmest today. Getting close to maybe 70. Temperatures this morning, there they are, 20s and 30s, 29 degrees in Holton, 2 degrees below freezing in Topeka, Lawrence, Linden, and Burlington. All those temperatures at 30, 28 degrees in uh, Emporia, and then across the Flint Hills and areas farther west, a little cooler, 26 out west in Cloud County. Here's our KSNT satellite and radar. I've zoomed this picture out just a little bit. Some snow showers as close to us as I-80 up in Nebraska, even areas farther to the north. They keep the moisture. They keep the wintry weather. However, us, maybe a little bit of cloud cover, and we're seeing some of that in north central Kansas this morning. Tomorrow, a lot more cloud cover, but for this afternoon, you can plan on a lot of sun. Here's our KSNT future track for some proof of that. This is 10 o'clock this morning. Notice some clouds maybe hanging tough up north. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies. We'll let it roll through tomorrow morning. By the time you wake up tomorrow, still some clouds. And then tomorrow afternoon, lots of clouds with a chance for some rain. However, this rain chance is not very organized. At least, it won't be organized when it's over our neck of the woods. It's a cold front, so we start to clear things out maybe as early as Sunday. Sunday morning, and most of that rain actually uh, moves and kind of blossoms across our southern and eastern counties and areas farther east, like Missouri and the Tennessee River Valley. Notice by 7 o'clock Saturday night, maybe some light rain showers across I-35, but our northwest counties could be seeing clear skies. That's how quickly this storm system rolls through, and it is not bringing us organized rain. Of course, yes, we have drought statuses about as far as the eye can see. March, not one of the wettest months of the year. By far, April, May, and June are much, much wetter. However, we can pick up as much moisture as we can get right now. This weekend, not a drought buster. Today, temperature is in the 60s for the afternoon. Much warmer than we have been all week long. Of course, the winds, not an issue again today. Just a light southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. By tonight, 34 degrees, mostly clear to partly cloudy. Still some light winds, and you just saw future track. I think by the time you wake up tomorrow, you'll see the clouds, and certainly those clouds went out as our Saturday unfolds. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and keep a chance for some rain in the forecast tomorrow, but it's not widespread. The cold front cools down temperatures into Sunday. Don't forget about those clocks. We spring forward into daylight saving time Saturday night, and then next week temperatures start cool, but they also start warming. 55 degrees Tuesday, almost 60 by Wednesday, 65 on Thursday. We're getting awfully close to St. Patrick's Day, Brittany. Yes. I don't want to pat myself too much on the back, but <laughs> earlier this week we, we saw that trend where it's like next week, not only not a chance for rain or snow, but much warmer weather. Love it. Yeah. I guess this is the price we pay for springing forward. Yes. I'm already feeling tired by knowing that fact for the weekend. Definitely. <laughs> Sunday nights on this shift come oh. really fast, and this weekend they're going to come an hour faster than normal. And guess what? Next weekend, so a week from tomorrow, is St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Last year, St. Patrick's Day weekend, <laughs> it was snowing, it was yes. sleeting outside. Calling it right now, over a week in advance. Don't think that'll be the case this Thank year. Goodness. Yeah, Thank goodness. Maybe some 60s and 70s. All right.